What's up guys, Max here, and some big news has happened over the past few days. A ton of Capcom games got announcements among the lines of Dungeons & Dragons, which I actually never played. It's a beat-em-up game, and I never got the chance, and I hear all these people say good things about it, so I'm looking forward to that. DuckTales is getting freaking remastered, and amongst the biggest ones that is related to you guys right now is the fact that Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012 is going to be receiving an update and balance patch. Now, the degree of which we understand the balances is unknown right now, and actually Capcom and Combo Fiend have made a video saying that on their forums, they're taking feedback and advice from players of the characters as far as what they can adjust and balance, and they're going to take it into consideration when they start making the changes. So let's just call this, you know, Street Fighter 4. 2013 uh, for the sake of making it easy on myself the Street Fighter 4 2013 is actually going to get a proper update so I know what a lot of you guys are thinking why not Marvel and I'm thinking the exact same thing and every time Ryota Nitsuma is asked about why not Marvel he says the same things that none of the guys that worked on Marvel are in the same departments anymore and da 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 and stuff like that it's just not going to happen repeatedly repeatedly even though it seems like it'd be profitable right Nonetheless, I think a big reason why Street Fighter 4 is getting an update is because we're in this transitional period between console generations right now where the Xbox, the new Xbox is going to be out at the end of this year probably, the PlayStation 4 is definitely out at the end of this year, and there's this huge transition period between making like a new fighting game on this current generation systems and waiting for the next generation systems, you know what I mean? A lot of people are really anxious to hear about whatever Capcom's got brewing up as far as their next big fighting game. And whenever we think like we're going to get news and information, it's always like a, a remastering or like an HD release of old fighting games, which I still really like. I think Iron Galaxy does a great job with like Darkstalkers and stuff like that. But it's never like Darkstalkers 4, Street Fighter 5, Capcom All-Stars is never anything like that. It's like a small update to Street Fighter Cross Tekken or an update to Street Fighter 4, you know, 2013 now. So let's... It's kind of it's kind of curious, and I think the reason they're doing it is because it's it's easy. It's something that a lot of people I think still want. Even though myself, I'm not ridiculously excited about it. You guys know me if you've watched my videos. I'm not a huge fan of the Street Fighter 4 engine. I enjoyed the game when it first came out, but over time, I just really disliked it all in the long run, and I just don't play Street Fighter 4 anymore. And I've almost completely forgot how to play the game with certain characters. But what has me excited and hopeful is the fact that they might add more roster members to the cast. The things I really want to see are some of those Third Strike characters that I haven't made it. Guys like Alex and Sean and stuff like that, because there's already a few Third Strike characters in Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012. And there were a few that were added in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and there's been a bunch of rumors that I've been reading that some of those characters might make it in, like Elena, or I don't know, there's there's actually a few from Street Fighter 3 in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, so there's a possibility, and like I was saying, they're they're making this update because it's it's pretty easy to do in the long run. And you can actually take, you know, stuff that already exists, like assets and animations from Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and then apply them in Street Fighter 4 and rebalance them, you know what I mean? I think that would make sense, but if we saw things like Alex, and if we saw things like Sean, I would flip my freaking lid, and I would immediately get back into Street Fighter 4, but... Hopefully there there might be some new characters. If there is, I will definitely make some coverage videos for those characters because I understand the Street Fighter 4 engine very well. I just don't have the practice, and I could definitely get back into it if there's new characters that I don't play in other fighting games, you know what I mean? I suck bad because I play a character like in Third Strike or Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and then I go back to Street Fighter 4 and it's just like... Oh my god, I, I completely forgot how the Street Fighter 4 engine works, my, my brain, give me, give me like a week and I'll be fine, but until that day happens when if new characters are released in this title and actually get an update with a new roster, I'll be down, I'll be down to totally play as it, so let me know what you guys think and let me know what characters you think might be badass to show up in Street Fighter 4, and are you even excited that this game is getting an update? I'm still sitting on the fence right now, but... If it ends up being a good thing, who knows? I didn't know Street Fighter 4 needed more balancing, but if it does and those, like, one-frame unblockables are a huge problem, then let's rock and roll. Until then, my name is Maximilian, and I'll see you guys next time.